I was always into like problems as a kid. Um, I was into gang violence and what have you. I was into uh, um, using um, drugs, IDU. I was introduced in a young age. We used to share uh, needles. Um, HIV was never talked about because uh, nobody was being infected at that time, at the earliest, uh, when I first started getting high. Uh, and it was maybe hep C, and we wasn't even thinking about hepatitis C or anything like that. I went and got tested again. And the doctor and the nurse came back and she told me, uh, you are positive for HIV, and this is back in the 80s. And, uh, and she said, um, and I just looked at her, you know, and uh, she said, but you don't seem very upset. And I said, um, if, if my partner is, you know, if infected, then I am also, so, you know. Long story short on that part is that she passed away, baby passed away, and I continue to live. And I remember that I, I kept it quiet. I didn't tell anybody, not even family members or anybody. I was like, wow. But she decided to, wanted to tell everybody. And she was telling everybody about our status. And it was sad, you know, it was really a really sad thing. And I would just tell her like, Keep it to yourself. If we feel good, let's just be easy. Let's try to just live life, whatever. I guess maybe the stress killed her. I guess maybe, uh, who knows what happened. But I know that, you know, pretty soon right after that, that her diagnosis, uh, she passed away. Um, and I continued to live and it was sad. It, it, it is so hard. To, 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 you, you, you hear your peers and, and cause with all the education and, and, and all these years that HIV has been around, people are still very much like uh, stigmatized. They feel like if, if, if like they, they, they push you away. And that's the part that makes you feel awkward, you know? It, you can all be in a crowd. It's like everybody's here, and this is you. And all of a sudden, they know that you're HIV positive, and everybody just walks away, and you just left alone. You know, and it's sad. You know, it's sad. So I think it's all. It it all has to do with testing. If you haven't been tested. And, and if you think you have done something before, if there's a doubt in your mind that maybe, just maybe, you might get infected, that you might have gotten infected, it's good to get tested. I believe it's, it's, it's a good thing because now I learn how to be in adherence to my medication. I learn how to become an advocate for HIV individuals. When, when someone is infected, when I do HIV testing or when I do someone and they become positive, instead of them running out and, and going berserk, I can grab them and embrace them and tell them, listen, this can work if you let it work. And, you know, I keep life like that. I live my life on a day-to-day -day basis.